Good evening and welcome to TL Physics. My name is Sarah and today I'm going to talk about hysteresis. So I'm going to talk about a material that doesn't really obey Hooke's law at all. In fact, it is a very odd material, but it's an important one. And this is a force extension graph, as you've seen for Hooke's law. And this is what it does. There is no elastic limit. There is no straight line part. It is an object that goes from this position, stretches, and then goes back to its original position. But it doesn't follow the same route back. It doesn't behave as if it was a material that's obeying Hooke's law. However, importantly, it goes back to its original length. And because it goes back to its original length, it is an elastic material. So it is elastic because it goes oops, back to original shape. But the interesting part here is it's not following the same route. So it goes up this way to a point that will come back down like this. And this is a very typical material like this. It's called rubber. So rubber is the typical material that follows hysteresis. So this would be rubber, like you find on a rubber band. <coughs> but as we said before, the area underneath the graph is the energy that was stored and what's interestingly, if we look at the energy that was stored in the elastic band going up to this point here, okay, so that's all of this energy, the energy that is released going back is only this bit here. So what about this bit in the middle, this energy here? What the hell is it doing? So... Let's talk about this. This energy here, I'm going to throw in. Okay. This energy is absorbed. And this is actually really important for hysteresis. You may have noticed that over time, when you stretch an elastic band, it gets warm. You start seeing these, wear, these white dots on it. And what's happening, this energy that's absorbed is deforming molecules, it's deforming on a level. So this energy that's being absorbed is deforming the elastic strands in the, I'm going to use the word, elastomer. So if you can imagine that an elastomer, here's my molecules here. They're all connected by all these squiggly lines. And when I stretch them out, they go into nice rigid lines. Okay. But what happens that some of the energy that is absorbed, okay, stays there. Which means when we go back, so this is going to stretch, when we go back, what might happen some of them may stay deformed permanently. And that's what that little, the hard parts of an elastic band are. They are areas of the um, plastic or elastic band that are permanently deformed. And eventually that will cause material failure in the um, elastic band and it will snap. That is hysteresis. It's important to know about this bit here. This is energy that's being absorbed. It's being absorbed to permanently plastically deformed bonds in between the material. And that is hysteresis. <laughs>